Hello and welcome. You guys already know, new patch, new tier list. But first, who actually thought that these wardrobe and loadouts buttons were a good idea? Let's be honest, this is one of the worst changes ever that SBA has implemented into the game. And the follow-up forum post they made after over one week was pathetic. Now, obviously, this is just a cash grab move by SBI in order to trick people to click on those buttons due to muscle memory and perhaps have someone spend money on the skins. Really didn't expect that one, to be honest. SBI kind of messed up with this change. Hopefully, they will revert it, but knowing SBI, they will double down and say, nope, this is intended. We will not change it. However, they did add a very welcome change to the market UI. It remembers your previous choice, so you know, save one click per item while selling stuff. Pretty handy. Another big thing is the escalation changes and the CC diminishing returns changes. I suggest you read about it more yourself if you're interested in how that works exactly. The patch notes are in the description below. So let's speed run the patch notes before we take a look at the tier lists. Uh, longbow, it's like a truck. Because they always have fucking a million Port Sterling games. And they also have a million. clipped it. People. <laughs> Wildfire, no longer broken, but still okay. Dawn Song, now viable in ZVZs, probably medium scale. Everyone is now playing Druidic in 5v5 since Redemption got nerfed. Glaive is no longer broken, but still viable. Uh, Clarent is still dog shit. <laughs> Gloves get buffed. Spiked Gauntlets, now one shots tanks. You are gonna drop my assassin now. They just used it. Load the north. Three. Yo, fu 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 oh, I died! And it is one of the weapons that got instantly, almost instantly, nerfed, as you can see on the test server patch 5. This is probably coming sometimes next week. Um, yeah, I don't know what they were thinking. Plus 50% damage increase versus plate was overdoing it by quite a bit. So now they're lowering that damage a little bit. Uh, you can't chain multiple Raven Strike Sisters and ZVZs anymore for the repeated knockups. The damage is still decent. Uh, Royal Hood and Royal Sandals get slightly weaker, but I'm guessing still viable in ZVZs. One thing that's not mentioned in the patch notes is Pole Hammer. The E got Ghost Nerf and it is no longer instant, but has a small traveling animation on its E. I mean, it's a straight up nerf, but it's not mentioned in the patch notes for some reason. Uh, I, think th I thought that was pretty weird. Uh, that's honestly pretty much it. Other stuff is kind of irrelevant. One funny thing to note, if you remember that bug I reported like several times and multiple months ago, SBI has finally fixed it, so you no longer die to your own teammates in Hellgate. Wow. Okay, so onto the tier list. For this video, I wanted to try a different format, so let me know what you think. Uh, we have the standard tier list, where we'll show off the top 10 most flexible weapons that fit the most types of content in the game, but I'll also show off a more compact and visually pleasing tier list for 2v2, 5v5, and 10v10 content. Let's start off with that before we move on to the top 10. For 2v2 Hellgates, not much has changed. On the tier list, we still have Great Holy, Frost, and Claymore at the top. The two strongest comps right now are either Great Holy and Frost or Great Holy and Claymore. Hallowful, though, is not too far off as an alternative and allows for more aggressive gameplay as the knockup gives your DPS more time to blow up an opponent. There's a few other DPS options that are viable with a healer, as you can see. We have Broadsword, Dagger Pair, One-Handed Curse, Pike, Glaive, and Death Givers. Then below, you have the standard one-shot setups and some other subpar healing and DPS weapons. Everything else is poop, pretty much. For 5v5s, the meta is still underway. People are still experimenting with various weapons, as we saw in the last level 6 matches, but... Then, when they played level 8, we saw the same good old classic comp with Glaive, Frost, and Great Curse. However, Staff of Balance has made its way back into the meta, which is interesting. Uh, obviously, Redemption got nerfed. Druidic seems to be the way to go. For 10v10s, the meta is definitely spicy right now. Spike Gauntlets and Longbow are two big newcomers to the meta and expect to see them a lot. The highest win rate 10v10 team at the moment runs one spike gauntlet and one longbow. Uh, it's funny because you legit just don't play plate anymore because of this meta change. It's crazy. I was playing heavy mace with hellion jacket. Chase uh, Onto Durami. Okay, and three. Get him. 
Two. Drew, One. Oh, Dermy. Yeah. I stunned him. Nice damage. Oh, Execute double. Okay. It, it's pretty interesting. It's pretty crazy. I think Spike Gauntlet got slightly overbuffed. Just slightly. But as we saw earlier, it is getting nerfed. So that's good. And that's it for the crystals and Hellgate's tier list. Let's take a look at the top 10 weapons. It comes to no surprise that Frost is still undisputed number one. It's funny actually because it's even stronger now than in the previous video I made. It's now even meta in 2v2s as one of the strongest DPS alongside a healer. Maze got a slight nerf and dropped to fourth place, so Bloodletter is back at number two. We do see two very interesting additions to the list, however, Longbow and Spiked Gauntlets, obviously. Longbow at number 5 being really strong for a variety of group PvP activities, and Gauntlets at number 8 for a similar reason. Just crazy overtune damage in my opinion. Obviously, it's getting nerfed soon though. Uh, longbow, really big damage, really short cooldown, not the best Q and W abilities, so might not see playing 5v5s, but yeah, really strong E on short cooldown. Obviously, Wildfire is gone from the top 10. It dropped quite a bit since it got nerfed multiple times. And before we end the video, I just wanted to quickly ask what you guys think of this format and what you think of the tier list in general. I know people will definitely disagree with some of the ratings, but I am curious what you think of the layout and the tier list itself as a concept. I have gotten a lot of feedback, and one thing I was thinking of is combining the 5v5 Hellgates and 5v5 Crystals under one category, for example. Even though the meta there differs slightly, I think just using the meta from the crystals is the way to go, and I'll just remove the 5 5 Hellgates because it's like I'm countering some of the stuff twice, it feels like. If you think there's any other categories I should add, then let me know as well. I've added the tier list images for 2v2, 5 5, and 10v10 content since I assume those are the most popular. I thought making those image compact uh, tier lists would be a good idea. Uh, no, but really, I read and appreciate all feedback, so do leave a comment if you have any feedback with regards to the tier list in general and the format of this video. I will for sure update the tier list as more time passes and the meta stabilizes, so look out for that. The link is in the description below. Thank you for watching, and have a good one.